Hi, I'm Sam Bell. I'm the president of a company called Road Prince. This is our truck. It's an operator-driven, truck-mounted, mobile robotic pavement marking solution. And it's particularly aimed at the kinds of markings which have traditionally been stenciled by hand. Things like turn arrows, or words like only or school. This system will do several things at once. One, it's gonna keep workers safe in the cabin of the truck instead of out on the street. Road construction is the fifth most dangerous job in the country. We can also make them more efficient. They can get more done in the same amount of time, or they can do the same amount of work with fewer workers, which is critical because right now, it's getting really hard to recruit new workers into this industry. This kind of system will enable safer, better streetscapes, smart streets, where you have more pedestrian amenities, more bike lanes, more crossings. Our early proof of concept vehicle, which we codenamed Lester, we basically were working with a shoestring budget and just trying to make sure that it was possible to put a robot on a truck and power a robot on a truck. Turns out that's actually pretty tricky. Stella, this truck here is codenamed Stella, and this is our pre-production prototype. We're able now to use a touch screen that lets us just manipulate virtual images overlay them just with a finger or two, and then paint. What can you paint? All the kinds of symbols that you see on the road today that are not long lines parallel with the curb. We've done some handicapped spaces, including the unloading zones next to them with the diagonal striping. We have done turn arrows. So this is an area where there are opposing left turn arrows in a shared center turning lane. We have done a specialty parking spot for an EV. We've just developed a procedure for automatic cone placement by the robot before it begins painting in something, for instance, like a turn pocket. So in this scene, we're at the Cleveland Skating Club, where we're going to be putting down a marking that says slow. We are also using retro-reflective glass beads. They wanted that so that their members' headlights would really light up that slow marking and remind them to slow down. In this sequence, what you're gonna see is some of our work on Payne Avenue in downtown Cleveland. This is a fairly major street, and it would really benefit from a bike lane. And the local uh, commercial district contacted us and we laid down a bike lane for them. They wanted the green boxes and the white overlay of the cyclists and the arrows on top. That's the kind of thing which is an important element of the Safe Streets movement. Here we are on Euclid Avenue, and it's actually got a very nice streetscape to it. We're repainting a couple of left turn arrows in a left turn pocket. We've brought out all the city painters who normally do this kind of work, and one of them is joining me in the cab. And then you just kind of scroll up and you want the stem to confirm and oh, tell okay. it paint. It's can already I positioned. Line it up a little no, it's bit? already positioned. Oh, okay. Or if you want to, yes, you can. The difference here between Stella, uh, who is really quite competent, and Electra is that Electra is our blueprint for manufacturing. Uh, the parts on here have actually been well documented. Uh, there's laser cutting code for stamping out, for creating more parts. Um, all of the construction has uh, careful CAD documentation to it. But importantly, this is the design that we intend to replicate as we get into sales of more units.